Welcome back, Christmas crew. If you are short on time but still want to hand make some of your holiday decor and gifts, today's video is for you. If you're new, welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. If you love Christmas, hit that subscribe button and join our Christmas crew. We're making five minute DIYs today using Dollar Tree supplies. For our first project, grab a bamboo cutting board. We're going to be adding the ever popular buffalo check to it but in a quicker way than I've shown you in the past. Usually you do a process of layering tape and paint and it is so satisfying to watch and it is a beautiful design so you can still do this absolutely. I do have a tutorial on that on my other channel, The Daily DIYer, and I will link that video down in the description box for you if you want to go the traditional method. If you want to do the quicker method, then follow these steps. Grab a bamboo cutting board or hit the crafter square, grab a blank sign or hit your scrap wood pile. I'm giving my cutting board a coat of white chalk paint first, but if you want to save even more time, you can skip this step altogether. But of course, keep this personalized to your own style and pick the colors that work for you. Once that's dry, this is the item that is going to save you so much time. They are Buffalo Check Stencils. I found these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. It comes as a set of six. So there's two different stencils in three different sizes. So you can even line these up next to each other if you have a bigger project. Luckily, we have a smaller project here, so we just need one stencil. I'm using the smallest size here and some red chalk paint. So here's the tip when you are stenciling, take a foam paintbrush, get some of the paint off the brush. You don't want it too loaded with paint and then stipple up and down so you don't get much paint underneath your stencil. I did two coats of the chalk paint and let that dry and then removed my stencil. Then I went into my Cricut Design Space and put two of their files together to get this cookies for Santa. If you have a Cricut Design Space, I will put my profile down in the description box below. So this design will be available to you to grab and use to recreate this. If you do not have a vinyl machine, you can also grab some chalk markers. I prefer those over paint pens and you could just draw this right onto the top of this and freehand the design. You can also put whatever kind of design on the front of this that you want. But I thought this was so cute, a cookies for Santa thing that you can put out with a little glass of milk and your cookies for Christmas Eve. But what I love most about this project is that quick and easy buffalo check. So depending on the holiday and season, you can change up the colors and get totally different looks. But I love the red and white for Christmas time, especially in the kitchen. This turned out super cute, but we're going to head over back into Dollar Tree to grab some picture frames for this next project. I love their picture frames and affordable, great option. They work so good. Very nice and only $1.25. I have three frames here because I'm going to give you three different variations of these projects because I also have three different free printables for you that I'll link down in the description box. So make sure to head down there after you're finished watching this video, click that link, download these free Christmas Carol sheet music printables. You can also use them however you want in your own projects. I'm going to show you a quick five minute DIY here. Once you get these printed, I like to use a paper trimmer. That way I get really nice, crisp, uh, straight lines when I'm cutting, but you can also use scissors. That works too. Just as easy as printing these and sticking them right into your picture frame and they are ready to go easy five minutes or less to get a really cute interchangeable Christmas sign for your decor. Since we are just ramping up a brand new season here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage, take one second and make sure your notification bell is still activated. Simply click the bell next to the subscribe button. We call it the Christmas bell around here. Make sure to select all and that will ensure that you never miss any ideas posted here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. And if you have a little bit more time on your hands, this is another variation of our last project. We're just going to take this plain basic white frame and give it a little bit of a facelift using a really cool product. It's called metallic gilding polish. It's almost like a shoe polish. It has a built in sponge in the lid and it is so easy to use. You just take the sponge, put it in the polish and then rub it right onto your picture frame. So it's going to take a little bit of some time to do this because we're going to add it in coats, but you're not going to believe 
the outcome when we're finished with it. It dries really quickly, so it doesn't take a ton of time, just a little bit more than five minutes though. So we're going to just put a base coat on, kind of a dirty coat, and then it'll start building up. This is the third coat that I'm adding. I'm actually adding some texture by just dabbing the sponge onto the frame. My whole idea here was to make it look kind of like an antique or rustic Jingle Bell. We're gonna be adding the Jingle Bell principle to this, so that's why it's kind of all going to uh, come together in the end. So here is a close-up look of what this looks like once it's dried three coats later. Add your free principle in there. Very, very cute. So we have the Jingle Bell sheet music in the background with the cute Jingle Bell uh, wording on the front. It looks very, very chic, but so inexpensive, quick to do. So that one is great if you like that rustic look, but if you're looking for a more fancy high-end look, you can also gold leaf these frames and just turn them into something that looks gorgeous. If you've never done uh, metallic foiling before, it is so easy. It kind of comes as a kit, so it has an adhesive that you paint onto the frame. You're going to let it sit for about five minutes so it can tack up, and it's actually going to have this sticky residue left over, and it's just as simple as then laying this gold leafing on top and into that adhesive. It's going to grab onto it kind of in a textured way and just kind of manipulating it so it goes around the edges of the frame. You kind of have some that falls off. You just put it wherever that adhesive is and work your way completely around the frame until all that adhesive is covered up. I will make sure to link this gold leafing kit down in the description box below for you too. You can find it on Amazon. You can also go to the craft store and find it. It's also really fun to add gold leafing to your Christmas ornaments too. So once you buy the kit, you'll be gold leafing everything. It is so fun and quick. Love it. And you also want to take a really soft paintbrush and kind of brush off any excess. This is a cool little uh, gadget that I love for cleaning up my work surface. It works perfect for this gold leafing because it does get kind of messy. It's a little crafting vacuum. You just turn it on, rub it over your surface, it sucks up all the debris, and you have a clean work surface again. I'll also link that down in the description box below for you. Just thought I would share that tip with you, but here's what it looks like once I added that free printable into the frame. Probably could have knocked some more of that gold leafing off the sides, but for the most part, I am loving the way this looks. It just glows and shimmers, has a really classy high-end look. Nobody would ever know that this was a Dollar Tree frame underneath all that beautiful gold leafing. I love that you can take one item, do completely different techniques to them and get totally different looks. So have fun with those DIYs. We're also gonna grab some vinyl paper. I guess that's what it's called. That's what Dollar Tree's Crafter Square is calling it. The red, and we're gonna take that back, cut out whatever word we want. In my case, I did joy. I will have this in my Cricut Design Space profile. I'll link that down below for you. If you don't have a Cricut, head to the craft store, grab some red letter stickers. That works too. And we're also gonna grab some books from Dollar Tree as well. These are old ones that I've had. This first one, I painted the cover of the book to have a rustic look. The next one, I just took the cover off and did nothing to. It already kind of had the look that I was going for. And the third book is a paper chapter book that I just wrapped in some white cardstock. Easy peasy. I wanted a variety of books, but I still want them to look similar and have that cream white color so it looks nice on my shelf when I'm done with this project. So basically all we're doing here is adding some vinyl stickers onto the pages side of our book. If you want to do a different wet word, you just need more books, so keep that in mind. But we're keeping it simple here. This is a five minute project. We're just throwing those letters onto these books, putting them in the middle of some bookends. Done, easy peasy. But like I said, you wanna do more books, you can write the word Christmas, you could do Merry Christmas, you could do Noel, so get creative. Love the red against the white, it really pops. You can even add some ribbon, some twine to it, whatever you want. I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of live Christmas trees. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Do you love the smell of live Christmas trees like I do? I have candles, <laughs> I just try to make my house smell like I have a live tree. But unfortunately, I put up my tree too early to have a live tree. So I just have to put up the artificial tree, but I still want that 
Christmas tree scent. So this is my hack for you. Grab a placemat, a fabric placemat from Dollar Tree. I'm cutting out a Christmas tree shape here, but you can cut out any kind of Christmas shape that you want. And we're gonna make a little ornament that we're also going to be able to add some essential oil onto to get our Christmas tree scent for our Christmas tree. So all I'm doing here is adding some Baker's twine to the top just so it can hang on my Christmas tree tying a knot, snipping off the ends, getting rid of all the excess, dressing it up a little bit more, adding a bow to the top there. You could add some ornaments to your tree if you wanted. Make it really special, make it really simple, doesn't really matter. Then grab yourself some essential oils, whatever your favorite Christmas scent, uh, scent is, peppermint, uh, woodsy Christmas tree scent. I'm gonna do some cedar wood on mine and you just put a couple dabs onto your fabric ornament and hang it on your Christmas tree. So now we have not just a cute ornament, but we also have the smell of a Christmas tree. These would also be great in your car to have a car freshener or make this as a gift, pair it with some essential oils, make it in whatever color is the recipient's favorite color or shape, gift it together, quick and easy gift idea. This next idea, we are going to need a silicone mat to put down. It's gonna help protect our surface or some paper, whatever helps. I like these silicone mats because they're reusable over and over again. And we're gonna grab some barbecue skewers from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need five total and then snip the pointy ends of those barbecue skewers off. And we're gonna make some really quick and easy star shapes. So I just kind of did it like I would draw a star, starting with one side, going down the other, back up to the point, to the other point, to the bottom, and then came in with my hot glue and pressed the points together, kind of making um, an X shape at the top though, because we're gonna be adding some twine here in a second to reinforce these corners so they all stay together. So here's our star shape. To put them together, grab this jute from the Dollar Tree's hardware section. I like this stuff better because it's real thin. I don't know if it's like one ply or two ply, but you don't want three or four ply jute for this because it'll be too thin. Thick. So you're just going to wrap it around a couple times on all the points, tie a couple knots, and then trim off the excess string that is sticking off. So each one of these stars is so quick and easy to make, like I said, about five minutes. And they're also good size too. They're about 11 inches tall. So you only need a few if you're gonna be putting them on your Christmas tree, kind of like ornaments. I always love adding larger items to my Christmas tree to really pop and kind of mix in with the smaller elements of the tree, it kind of pulls it all together. So here's a look at that idea. But another idea is also to put these together end to end to make an, a garland. And it is really easy to do that. You're gonna put your stars side by side, point to point, snip off some more of that same jute and put your corners together and create a loop. We're gonna put the tails together and tie a knot with those extra tails hanging off the end. You want a smaller loop that it's going to form. You don't want them tight together. That'll give it some movement for when we're going to hang it. You also wanna twist your knot so it's kind of inside one of the corners and not poking out the top or the bottom. So here's just two put together, but you can put several together. It only took four for my mantle to go from side to side. Completely up to you how many you wanna make, how long you wanna make it, but so cute and a big statement for not a lot of time and not a lot of money. I also wanna throw in a few of my absolute favorite quick five minute DIYs. I love the way this one turned out. It's a little window you can get from Dollar Tree. I just popped the center off there. They also have different wood ones, so keep your eye out. This one, I just took that middle uh, sign off, got the adhesive off the front, and then this I love for Christmas time and honestly year round, because it makes really quick, small wreaths. It's like a wired greenery thing that I found at the craft store. I also found it on Amazon, so I'll link it down below for you. But we're just going to twist it into a circle, adding a few layers to give it some texture and some bulk, and we're going to then attach that onto the front of this window with some hot glue. So this is actually a great look if you wanted to use it for every day, but we're gonna Christmasify this a little bit, adding some red and cream ribbon. And I'm gonna show you an easy way to make a simple bow. 
we're gonna make a loop at the top and two of our tails coming down and you just pull the center of the top loop down to meet the crisscross part in the front you want to size your loops to fit the size of your wreath by pulling those ends down and then you'll crease your center add some floral wire to the middle and that will save your middle from coming apart then we're going to cut our tails in an angle so they look nice. We left the wire on the back of our bow long, so we're gonna use that to then attach it to the top of our wreath. I also love this because then it makes our bow interchangeable. So if we wanted to change the ribbon for the different holidays and seasons, you absolutely could remove it, put a new one on, leave it off altogether, completely up to you. Fluff those bows, trim off the tail in the back. And then I also sat this in front of a candle, just had a really pretty glow behind it. This is an LED candle. Make sure it's a battery powered candle. Set it up against it. It just looks like a candle in the window at Christmas time. And I just love it. It's so quick and easy, simple, and so beautiful with a high-end look too. Now my next project is one of my absolute favorites. I did a variation of this for Valentine's Day over on my other channel, The Daily DIYer, which is my year-round crafting channel. I'll link that down below for you if you are new to that. But I did a Valentine's Day cute couple using the tumbling tower block. So I thought it'd be cute to make a nativity set to go for Christmas time. So we're gonna take two popsicle sticks, glue them together so they're a little bit thicker, and then take our miter shears and cut off about a two foot section out of the middle. We don't want the rounded ends. We're also gonna be using those tumbling tower blocks as our uh, Mary and Joseph, but one of them we want smaller. So we're gonna take our miter shears and cut one of the tumbling tower blocks down just a little bit. So now we have our Mary, Joseph, and our uh, piece for our baby Jesus. You're gonna grab some wood beads from Dollar Tree and add one to the top of each one of those pieces to give our little figurine some heads. Now let's accessorize. We're gonna take a little piece of light blue ribbon and glue it to the top of Mary's head and then glue it around down to the sides. For Joseph's sash, I grabbed some of this really pretty burlap decorative ribbon from Dollar Tree and just kind of put it at an angle using hot glue to keep that in place as well, and then trimming off the excess. We're gonna take some hot glue and put these two together on the sides, and then we're gonna start working on our baby Jesus. For this one, we're gonna hot glue a smaller wood bead onto the top and then wrap him up with some burlap ribbon that's also from Dollar Tree as well. You just kind of wrap it and then cut off excess. I also put a small piece over the top so it looks like he was wrapped in this blanket. We're gonna trim that all off and then hot glue that right on the front. So here's our cute little nativity. We can leave it as is, or you can find these cute little wood stars at Dollar Tree. We're gonna add this over the top of our nativity. It's gonna look so cute. We're gonna add a little piece of floral wire onto the back of the star with some hot glue, and then glue the end of our floral wire onto the back of our nativity. So we have the little North Star above Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. So quick and easy, so, so cute. If you don't have a lot of space, this will fit anywhere. I love it. It would be super cute and a tiered tray too. This one is going to be the quickest and easiest DIY ever. Grab some wrapping paper, whether you gotta go to Dollar Tree to get it or hit your own stash. We're gonna cut out a rectangle from our wrapping paper as big as or as small as you want. And we're gonna make some wrapping paper Christmas trees. To do that, you're gonna take the, lo the longer end of the wrapping paper, add some stick glue to that edge, and then we're gonna start rolling this into a tube. So you wanna point at the top and of course, a wider opening at the bottom just rolling it up and then making sure that your glue attaches on to the side as you are rolling it up. Mm -hmm. 
Now we can kind of pinch the bottom. We don't want to crease it though. And you're just going to cut the bottom off straight. So this will now sit flat either on your mantle, on an entryway table, or you'll see here, I made several of these and kind of made them fit and tuck into my tear tray. If you're looking for more affordable and quick five minute Christmas crafts, I'll have that video popping up on your screen. You can head over and watch that next. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hit subscribe if you are new. Hit that thumbs up button and I will see you in the next one. Have a very happy holiday.